Yes, Sacha, the Apple iPad is indeed a real computer. Hey, welcome to the Frugal Tech channel. On this channel, we do technology analysis, product reviews, some tutorials, and also talking Microsoft, where each week we try to take a story which I hope will be interesting to you about all things Microsoft and share them with you in the video. This week, we want to go back in time a little bit to about November the 11th. Satya Nadella was over in India and he uh, ran into uh, Sahil Gupta from Tech Radar, seen him with an iPad and said, look, get yourself a real computer. First off, props to Satya because uh, I just love the fact that Microsoft's confidence is growing in their mobile technology, especially with their Surface Pro. Fantastic job, well done. However, that does not mean that the iPad is not a real computer. Apple hears about this and they create a commercial, and the link to that is below, where they show some kids using an iPad Pro with iOS 11, and they are doing different tasks with the device, and ultimately the commercial ends up with the child's mother saying, hey, what are you doing on your computer? And the kid says, what is a computer? Wow, you know, that is something to think about because there are a number of young, young children out there that uh, the iPad is very much a computer to them. People who watch my channel, you know, you're smart. You know that the, the iPad, which I happen to have right here, is indeed a computer, right? There's a GPU, a CPU, there's storage, there's memory on operating system applications, all the prere prerequisites of what goes into a computer. It's in a touch-based mobile form factor, radically different than any other uh, the, the Mac operating system, which is not touch-based, but nonetheless, uh, on this device, for example, I have the entire Office 365 suite, including Excel, Word, PowerPoint, all kinds of productivity applications. I personally don't use it as such. I use it more or less as a, a content consumption device. For some of you, the only thing that will pass as a real computer would be a desktop PC or one running Linux or a Mac. They're all desktop personal computers. For others, a tablet will suffice. It will do everything you need to do. And yes, you can be quite productive on one of these. And yet for others, the iPhone, an Android phone, their smartphone is more than enough to accomplish their tasks each day. Keeping track of appointments, scheduling, contacts, email, occasionally browsing the web for information, etc. What Satya was really trying to say was that, look, the Surface Pro, a, 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 a mobile computer, a, a, a tablet form factor running a full-blown desktop operating system and the ability to run desktop applications is really what constitutes a computer. Now, his definition of mine is a little bit different, but I am glad to see the confidence that Microsoft is showing with these devices. Really, an iPad or a tablet, a smartphone may be only that you really need, but then again, you may need a desktop machine. You may need a laptop. It depends on your use case and what you consider a computer to be. I consider this to be a very good computer. I don't use it for desktop applications. I use it for content consumption. In my opinion, it's really based on use case, but I think we can all agree, yes, Satya, the iPad is a real computer, just like Android tablets, just like smartphones. It's the use case and what you can do with them that determines your definition of what a computer is. It doesn't have to be a full-blown Windows PC in a tablet form factor to count as a real computer. I want to get your comments down below. What constitutes a real computer to you? Could you get by on just a tablet? Could you get by just on a phone? Or do you require something more powerful like a laptop or a full-blown desk PC, desktop PC? Let me know in the comments down below. Bruce Naylor, have a productive week ahead.